What is up Mako Madness fans? This is Dan checking in from the Mako construction site and uh, it's another beautiful day here in Florida and the ride is looking really awesome. We're gonna walk around the outside area and see if we can see anything before we head inside the park today. So let's go! Well it looks like all of the wiring and plumbing for the trim brake is now 100% in place. The last time we still had a few odds and ends left to connect all the way up here. But everything is all done now. Looks like we're ready to actually start some testing. Well, this is some good news. We have people on the transfer track right now checking things out. So maybe we'll get a train out here very soon. Well, that's some good news, guys. We actually have power to the transfer track. We can see with those flashing lights. And those guys are checking it out right now, but that means we could actually pull a train onto the track right now if we wanted to. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. They are pulling the train out onto the track. And they just moved the train backwards just a little bit. Back and forth, back and forth the train goes. I'm sure they're just testing out how it actually engages the transfer track, making sure it's all good, but uh, they keep going back and forth. And the track just transferred over now. Oh yeah, back at SeaWorld. You already know why we're here. Please remain seated at all times. Thank you. Alright, so we're 300 feet up now and we're getting an awesome view of the entire construction site. As we can see, the water is back in the pond again. And the big news to note this week is check this out. We have that train right there, just a single car on the transfer track. The station does have some new color also, making it look like it's an old shipwreck with a little bit of rust. And we have some wooden poles down there that looks like it's actually going to be for an outdoor queue, along with that pathway right there that's gotten some new concrete. And then the water splashdown area still has those poles in the ground, and they're doing quite a bit of work over there, so we'll see how it goes. Well, we're over here by the Flamingo Boat Docks, guys, and I hate to say it, it's finally happened. The wall has been extended, but not that much. For some reason, they decided to extend it uh, that far, but I don't know why. We can still see what's going on over here. Looks like there's a guy in a uh, backhoe pulling out some more dirt, water, all that jazz. And we still have those same poles right here. Almost looks like he's building a bridge for himself. 
something like that, I don't know. Check this out, we actually have quite a bit of color that is now on the station area and they're giving it more of an aged, rusted look. That looks really neat actually. A little closer look at the attention to detail. Yeah. How it actually wraps around the track and support. It's going to offer a really great kind of hand chopper. Our closest view of the shipwreck and how you're going to blast right through it. Actually, it looks pretty neat. Pretty good attention to detail. And they've kept the same kind of uh, structure as what we've seen around the area over by like Sharks in the Water Grill as well. So reoccurring. Work walls are a little bit narrower today. As we can see, the pathway is actually a little bit thinner here. But that's only because they're actually working in the construction site and need to push them out. And here's a really great view of the new pathways for the queue line. Cement has been poured and everything is coming along very nicely. Again, the lights along the brake run have been fully installed and all we need is power but we can see all the way down they're ready and it looks like the lift is also in the same situation with lights all the way up in place and then we have something kind of interesting we have a uh, white runner rail which goes all the way down and I think that may be for LED lights guys I know the designers took into account the envelopes and clearances for the ride, but damn, does that look like you're actually getting real close. As we can see the track right there, and then the very top edge of that shipwreck, man, that's close. We're over here by the Flamingo Boat Dock now, and we can get an excellent view of all the new happenings, especially that ship right there. As you can see, the track is going to crash right through it. It's not a very big ship, however, it does look pretty neat. It is going to offer a uh, really kind of neat flyby, almost hand chopper kind of situation. We have a guy over here in an excavator pulling out some dirt and uh, water on the other side of these poles. Again, these poles I thought were going to be for a fence. I still think they're going to be for a fence. But uh, rumor has it, after we saw that uh, video in Mako Rising, we may have a water splash. So as we see here, they are working on an area where the water splash would be. 
and we still have markers on the ground over there so maybe a pathway as well for guests to check out the whole situation everything looking really good from here at the flamingo boat dock I want to take one more look and show all of you those new work lights. How they go all the way to the top with the anometer up there also. And we have a worker that's right there. Looks like they're checking out the light actually. I'm wondering if we're going to see a test coming very, very soon with all of these on. Since I know power is in the area, so. Just need to test them. Something really kind of neat that we have going on right now is we're actually watching a rocket launch and boom, there it is right there, heading over the top of Mako. So we can see that rocket engine firing away, heading towards the sky. That is going to do it for another SeaWorld Orlando Mako construction update. And as we saw, it was another monumental day here at the park. We actually had the lead car for Mako's train on the transfer track. So that was the first time it's ever been there. And I think they're just going to be pulling it into the station area, checking out the proximity switches and the pincher tires, getting everything ready before testing starts. We did see the shipwreck in the front of the area. It's coming along very nicely, so I uh, think they're going to be doing more theming. As well as the queue line has a whole bunch of stuff going on, concrete has been poured, and to top everything off, we saw a rocket launch today, which was really neat, right over the top of Mako. And of course we have our Manta flyby <laughs> right there. And we're going to have more updates like these guys, so if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, and our YouTube page at Mako Madness, and I will see you out on the Midway.